Hi, everyone. So my name is uh, Mohammed. I'm a PhD student in early RN. Um, one of the co-authors co of this paper is uh, over there is Gerson from the University of Nantes. Um, so during this talk, I will be presenting uh, an our approach for automatic and functional testing uh, of uh, co-generator finalists. Um, so the outline of this talk uh, will be as follows. I will go quickly. So first, I will uh, start to introducing the context uh, of, the of this research work. So basically, uh, as you know, co-generators are used everywhere, and they are increasingly used in the industry, and um, and uh, co-generators are needed to transform the uh, uh, high-level speci system specifications that can be uh, uh, defined as models, oh. DSLs, uh, GUIs, etc., and to general purpose uh, uh, languages as such Java, C++, and so on. So uh, also co-generators are needed to uh, target diverse and heterogeneous hardware and software platforms. So for 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 the testing perspective, uh, generally developers used to develop uh, and define test suite in order to check the correct behavior of this uh, generated code. So uh, afterwards, this after the code generation, uh, code generation, these test suites are executed uh, for the different uh, target platforms, and then uh, uh, this may lead for a correct behavior or uh, an incorrect one, which leads to uh, errors or failures. So, uh, if the all if the, uh, the uh, tests are uh, success successfully passed, so that means that generated code works well, and uh, the the code generators didn't uh, generate any bugs. So, however, for um, proving that the generators are uh, efficient um, proving that the uh, co uh, generated code is functionally uh, correct is not enough to prove the effectiveness of uh, co generators and uh, the question here is is that uh, we we need to evaluate the quality of the generated code in terms of non-functional properties such as the uh, memory usage CPU usage etc so Testing co-generators may raise different issues. And for example, defective co-generators may generate uh, uh, poor quality code that may uh, affect the system performance and reliability. Uh, on the other hand, testing the non-functional properties of co-generators is very time consuming because uh, each time we have to, uh, to test each co-generator, we have to generate code and we have to uh, use different uh, platform specific profilers and so on to get the different non-functional uh, properties. Uh, another issue is that we have to, to uh, examine different uh, non-functional properties that such as the execution time, the memory usage, and so on and so on. Um, Cogenerators also are known to be very, very complex and, uh, uh, and difficult to understand because they involve uh, different uh, technologies and techniques, different transformation rules, and uh, numerous elements and with different uh, dependencies. Uh, so, for example, as a code generation, a code generator maintenance scenario, um, for example, here we uh, distinguish in this figure four steps. First, the, the software design, then um, the code generation, and the code execution and the non-functional testing in the last step. So starting from, for example, a DSL uh, that defines the behavior of the, of the software, we, uh, the software um, the uh, testers used to generate the different uh, versions of the code from, uh, uh, like for example, uh, generating code in C-sharp with Java from the same uh, model. And then for the non-functional testing, uh, the, the software tests need different profilers specific for different platforms to extract this, uh, this information about the performance and the uh, resource utilization. Um, afterwards, uh, 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 software testers try to investigate and try to find inconsistencies and bugs within these different uh, 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 
profiles. So currently we, we, uh, we observe that there is a lack uh, of automatic tools that extract these non-functional properties, especially for the resource uh, users. Uh, in this context, we present our approach for uh, automatic non-functional testing of code generators. So there, uh, we present two main contributions. The first one is uh, by providing a runtime monitoring infrastructure based on system containers, namely Docker uh, as execution platforms of uh, for the generated code in order to evaluate the uh, the uh, uh, the non-functional properties uh, related to the resource usage. The second one is to uh, propose uh, we propose uh, a black box testing approach in order to detect the uh, buggy or the faulty uh, or inefficient code generators. So we rely on this micro based, uh, micro service based uh, infrastructure uh, in order to uh, give, uh, provide facilities to the software, um, to the code generator maintainer in order to uh, deploy, generate code, deploy it, uh, compile it, deploy it and execute it uh, within this uh, system uh, container. So, uh, uh, using this infrastructure, we, uh, which is a system level um, s uh, operating system level virtualization, uh, will be uh, we, we will be enabled to uh, define different uh, configurations and uh, settings for now our uh, code generators and the execution environments by by defining different virtual images, uh, different instances, uh, running these containers within different con uh, machines. Also, uh, we uh, will go. We will um, run these uh, containers uh, virtually on a host machine, uh, where the uh, resources can be finely limited and uh, managed. Uh, also, we note that uh, this uh, virtualization solution that we, we are pr uh, providing uh, um, used less overhead than a full stack of virtualization solution like using mach uh, virtual machines and so on because it, uh, the container shares the same uh, OS and the same uh, uh, hardware uh, as the host machine. So we benefit from these uh, advantages to in order to uh, provide a fine-grained ins understanding of the resource utilization of uh, each uh, generated code. Uh, yeah, and then extract the, uh, the this information for uh, as well automatically. Um, so we want to move from the uh, this archi testing architecture that I uh, presented earlier to this one. So uh, for each code generator, we will uh, have a container that will uh, will, um, uh, will be configured in order to generate the ad uh, the uh, target uh, code. So the the uh, soft, uh, the, the, the code generator uh, maintainer can in fact uh, install all the dependencies, all the libraries, all the compilers that he will need in order to generate this code. So once we generate the execu executables, we run them within the, these isolated uh, containers. So during the code execution, we added this uh, this layer of runtime monitoring engine in order to uh, gather this information. Uh, at runtime uh, for the different uh, 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 containers that we are running. Also, for uh, to find the bugs, we add we um, in consistencies we added this part that we we uh, this solution is to uh, to collect this uh, uh, visualization solutions that uh, will enable us to collect this information and, uh, and using. Uh, some tools to uh, to show the uh, different uh, profiles of uh, of uh, resource consumption, especially the memory. Okay, so the, the automatic process will be as following. So first, we execute the code. As I said, we try to gather this uh, information uh, about the memory users, and then once we do that, uh, we uh, save them into a time series database. And then we provide uh, uh, the different way to to analyze the uh, the performance. So let's see uh, more in details how how that works. So first we have this container, as I said, that uh, that is pre-configured using Docker files and 
in uh, in uh, which is uh, like a script in um, in uh, Linux to uh, to to install the different uh, dependencies and so on. So once we define this, uh, uh, once we generate the code, we'll be running it within uh, a, con uh, a new container, and we have this monitoring component, which will look into the uh, C groups by systems, which is uh, which is a, kernel, a li Linux kernel feature that allows to uh, expose different uh, matrix about the uh, non-functional properties that uh, or resource is utilization. Uh, so this monitoring components will will access to these C group files. So for each running component, uh, and then will extract these records about the uh, memory usage. So once we get these uh, records, we we plug in our monitoring component to a database in order to save this uh, this uh, data. Afterwards, we, we provide two ways to uh, for the software tester to to visualize visualize using uh, a front end visualization uh, component in order to get the estimation and overview of the uh, of the memory usage of CPU, etc. Or by making directly HTTP requests in order to get uh, the uh, the memory memory uh, that the the program has used. Uh, so the second part of this uh, paper it was about detecting the inefficient code generators. So for that, um, this approach uh, is based basically on the intuition that uh, a code generator is often uh, a member of a code generator family. Uh, we define this notion of code generator family as a set of code, gener of, of code generators that take as an input the same input and generate code for different uh, target uh, software platforms. Uh, as example, we have Ax, Gingham, and different uh, uh, modeling language that can uh, that provide this kind of uh, code generator family. Uh, so we benefit from this idea in order to apply the differential testing uh, testing technique which consists in, in comparing the prevalent implementation of uh, the generated uh, of the same program written in different languages. So now the assumption in this work is that uh, um, uh, we, uh, we assume in fact in this work that is that the uh, memory usage and the execution time um, should be the same, more or less the same for these different implementations. Obviously, we have um, we are comparing different programs, different programs written in different languages, but um, but but in fact uh, we can we we will find the de deviation and variation in the different in the uh, between these these uh, non-functional properties of the different uh, uh, implementations. So for that, we, we can quantify this variation between the uh, execution traces between uh, the different implementation of the same program using the standard deviation. As an example, here you see uh, we have uh, three, for example, versions of the uh, same prog uh, program written in different languages. We get the memory usage of each one, and then we compare this memory usage and we are assuming that, for example, test suites that uh, get the, uh, this uh, the standard deviation higher than a specific threshold value, we are, we are uh, interpreting that as a code generator issue. Otherwise, we, uh, we don't detect uh, this bug. So to evaluate that, we, we used to build a cross-platform uh, benchmark based on AX. Uh, AX is a... <coughs> is um, a general uh, <coughs> cross-platform programming languages language that uh, enable to generate code to different uh, target software platforms. So we used to gather um, different programs from GitHub and the uh, Axe official library. So here the list, uh, you can find the list uh, of the uh, libraries we have selected. Uh, so afterwards, so we select the different libraries uh, written on Axe and their test suites. So, for so that after the code generation, so here there we selected five targets, um, five languages, 
So after uh, the code generator will generate the library in the target language with uh, their test trees, all the test trees written in different la uh, languages. Um, once we generate the code, we, we use Seed Advisor, so the Google Seed Advisor uh, that will extract this information of, uh, of uh, uh, the memory usage uh, by accessing to the C group file. And for the uh, storage, we use InfluxDB as a time series database in order to save these, uh, these metrics. So here the I, I put the list the I put the list of the uh, test trees we have run for all the benchmarks. So so we can see for here the standard deviation in the third column, the standard deviation for uh, each test suite. So we can see that almost this this uh, value of uh, values of def standard deviation is close to the to the interval zero to eight, and we. We, uh, we observed that there are eight data points where the standard deviation uh, was extremely uh, high, which we detect as a bug. So to see, uh, in uh, actually, I, I put the, um, the uh, row, uh, row data values of these uh, eight points that we have detected. So we... Uh here I, I, I took the J, JS as uh, as a reference, and we uh, I put the factor for uh, to see the difference between uh, the execution time between different uh, uh, versions. So we see clearly that PHP uh, is uh, is taking more time, uh, much more time to to run the different test trees, and it it was the cause of this uh, high uh, uh, variation. So. We, we can interpret that that, that PHP is is uh, is uh, singular behavior of the uh, of uh, uh, of this uh, cogenerator family. The same for the memory effect, and we here we are higher. We get higher variations uh, because uh, the uh, memory allocation and utilization in the uh, different languages is very different. So. Uh, for that, we we uh, we see that for for, the, uh, for all the test trees that the the average values or the f the values are, uh, are mostly close to the um, in the interval zero to one hundred fifty, uh, but uh, we selected the uh, six data points uh, that are higher than uh, threshold value that we use it uh, defined manually. Uh, just by looking to the uh, to this uh, results, which is uh, 400. So as well for the see that the PHP is is uh, causing this uh, this variation. So wha what we uh, so we, we so we consider for that as a consequence that PHP cogenerator is is defective. So what we have done in order to Underserve uh, this issue is that we took the uh, uh, one of the uh, uh, one of the test trees that uh, has uh, the longest uh, execution time, and uh, we, we looked to the PHP code and we observed that the PHP code uh, uh, intensively used uh, the uh, type uh, the array type, and the arrays um, are known to be. Uh, very slow in PHP, and what we have done is that we replace uh, this uh, type with SQL Fixed Array, which is more optimized uh, type for uh, for arrays. So we, uh, by doing so, we reduce the memory usage by two, and we got a speed of uh, uh, of five. So to conclude, uh, we presented uh, an approach for testing uh, the cogenerator family is based on. Uh, uh, microservices based on Docker, and um, we have uh, provided a, a way to uh, an approach to extract automatically the uh, information, non-functional information about the uh, memory usage, and we have identified the PHP generator as uh, a defective, uh, a defective one. So, as a future direction, we are planning to to detect more generator issues related to CPU consumption, and to evaluate our approach on other uh, uh, case uh, on other case studies, and um, yeah, compare 
in our approach to uh, uh, another approach with, uh, without the use of uh, virtualization mechanism. Mm, that's it for that.